Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a tour of the Cerro Hill area as I love to call it. Right and so it's the officially it's the St. Vincent Block which is located a little bit outside of Punta Gorda town near the Punta Gorda Air Strip. The estate I believe is known as the Saddleback Estate or Saddle Hill Back Estate right and I'm just picking out information here as I go along um, of course and I'm asking anybody with better knowledge of the area to please just leave some knowledge or some history base in the comments below so we can share and get more information on the Saddle Hill area so we are just hovering here over the Indianville area so my um, vicinity of town um, and from here on then we'll take a flight back towards the St. Vincent block now as far as I know the St. Vincent block is a private property um, given to the Garifuna people or the Carib people here in Punta Gorda town um, specifically for farming reasons so it's about 900 acres um, left by someone to enable farming through the carib community so some hills of i guess things that is in this area there is big hill farther to the north of the north of that particular area there's a sphinx ridge there's a seymour hill i think it's called then there is a saddleback hill that you're seeing there and a little far up there is the Schaefer's Mountain. Also in this area is the Raider Camp area, right? Which is our Belize Defense Force base in the area. So once in a while you'll, they use the area for um, jungle training also. Closer to this is the El Dorado and Wilson Landing. And of course it's in the Punta Gorda area. Um, we have people who have migrated now from the town itself into the St. Vincent Block community and I'm, I'm still wondering why it's not an established village as such but I, I guess the community themselves have to work on that right now there's a lot of benefit to staying in this area one is that it has really really rich soil right um, and you'll notice that a lot of it is still really undeveloped um, but people are moving in uh, what I would like to see is more of some management in terms of who is farming where and I see this because I went to take a walk in the area and inquire about different lands and who owns what and who is farming here and I kept getting conflicting answers you know as to who is using what part um, one person I spoke to mentioned that they were using about 30 acres and only had a particular section of the area cleared, right? So, but I know it's farming land, it's supposed to be farming land, but fine. You can see here from the main road that the community is kind of based in the front area here. Um, and then the farming extends a little bit backwards. So because this is the only section with road access, you notice that most of the houses are concentrated in this area but people are moving out into the other areas of the St. Vincent block making use of it um, doing mostly underbrush if you notice there is a uh, greenhouse down there um, there is also people doing some pig production chicken production right and the particular block that the guys from Yard Light is using is also in the St. Vincent block to the left side of that road, right? Knowing that this road goes to the highway, it draws some questions for me like why is this road not paved, right? It's a whole highway, it's, it leads to the military camp, the military base. It's a short um, route, but I guess because it passes through the private lands for St. Vincent Block, that might be the reason. Another thing to note is that the water 
that is pumped into our community here in Punta Verde town comes from the St. Vincent Mark, right? So the area itself is used for many other reasons and I know that there are hiking trails in that particular area and I also went up on Cerro Hill a few um, months ago. So me and Zahir took the trip up to this the Cerro Hill, right? And of course, a lot of people from Punta Grada Town would do that from time to time. So if you're looking to go birding, you're looking to go hiking, you want to see some wildlife, you want to see some agriculture, Based community and our culture based community, feel free to hit the St. Vincent Black area, right? It's right close to town, and of course, encourage the other people to continue the farming efforts. This definitely will be an area of interest in the coming year, um, simply because things in Belize will get a little bit harder, right? And let me give you the date it's the 11th of May 2021. And I can see that if I do another flight over this area two or three years from now, you definitely will see some transformation. The last a couple of videos back, I posted on um, what Chef um, Prince was doing back there. And we can see that that was his clearing over on the left hand side of that particular flight. So Sarah Hill continues to offer their share of production into the town. And we're hoping more farmers can become involved. We're hoping that the people who manage the private property here or land that is farmed by the Garfinal community and the Carib community, that they would put some more effort into um, looking at getting a updated map, getting road access into these areas for people who use the particular land make sure that they're collecting um, land so that the taxes can be paid um, and because water is taken from that particular land for the Punta Grada community that they would also look at how we can get water run um, into the area itself right and there's already electricity passing into most of the zones and of course the condition of the road um, needs to be addressed right so, but it takes a little bit of management, it takes a little bit of leadership. It's something that we can get done. Um, this area will be key for our southern region. But let me leave you guys to enjoy the video, enjoy the rest of the video. And remember that if you have anything to add, because I'm, I'm no historian here, um, feel free to leave it in the comments below and share a bit about the St. Vincent Block or Cerro Hill area or Saddleback area, you know, this thing has so much names, but feel free to share and enjoy the rest of the video.